After two years of creating videos, many videos later, and currently only 254 subscribers, let me just tell you, I would not change my YouTube journey. Deciding to film and share my life on one random day has changed my life forever. I want to say for someone who is on the fence and worried about what others might think, truly, I believe who cares. Make sure you know why you're doing it and just go for it. I promise you it will be 100% worth it. So let's start at the very beginning of my YouTube journey. YouTube has taught me so much about myself and about the world around me. I only started watching YouTube in 2020 during COVID when we were stuck inside our houses and there really wasn't much to do. I initially started watching YouTube because I wanted to expand my knowledge of makeup and so I was watching beauty videos. I haven't ever really considered myself a very creative person. I wasn't very good at ballet when I was younger, wasn't very good at drama in high school, and I never really did anything very artsy. One of my favorite ways to be creative is through doing puzzles, but that's about it. YouTube showed me that there are so many other people out there sharing their lives through videos that are so similar to the person that I am. You could see how much my favorite YouTubers were just loving sharing videos and creating content and just showing people their very normal, ordinary lives that they were living. So anyways, fast forward to 2021 when I first started at university. Bear in mind that COVID was still a thing and so we were not going on campus to learn. We were doing everything via online videos. I was in a private res where I hadn't really gone down with any friends and it was a very lonely year for me. I struggled to make friends so I don't want to be dramatic but it was probably one of the worst years of my life but it taught me some of the biggest lessons. I remember towards the end of 2021 I signed a lease for the digs that I currently live in. I decided that I was going to start rebuilding my relationship with God and we'd even got news that we might start going on campus for lectures the next year and I was ready to put 2021 behind me and start afresh in 2022. I've been thinking about starting a YouTube channel and finding a creative outlet for myself. Somehow I came onto the idea of starting a YouTube channel as soon as I started university in 2022. I could feel this pull to let loose, to face my fears of being judged by others and just to share my life. As one can imagine, my first video was a bit all over the place with funny lighting, weird angles and I didn't really know what I was doing. I hadn't done much research into how to create videos. I had no fancy equipment. It was just me and my iPhone camera. It felt a bit rogue at the time but I wanted to document my university career. It was going to be my version of a photo album but the only catch was that everyone else was going to be able to see it. I look back at my first video with so much joy because first of all, it was me moving into my digs and I've now been living here for three years and I just can't believe how much my life has changed in three years. And secondly, it brings me so much joy because I just decided that I was gonna do something I was passionate about. The 23rd of February, 2022 will forever be a monumental day for me because that's when I posted my first YouTube video. YouTube has allowed me to find parts of my personality that have been hidden for so many years and things about myself that I never really knew. For the majority of my high school and university career, I've been so focused on studying numbers and so in the form of maths and accounting and things along those lines and I hadn't really done much that was in the form of creativity. I have been able to bring my creativity to the surface through the way I edit my videos, the different ideas of videos I come up with, just the way that I film certain clips for my different videos. It has also allowed that creativity to filter into my everyday life. And I feel like a child again, finding different parts of myself that are allowed to just let loose and be creative definitely doesn't happen overnight. But with practice, I feel like I'm learning more and more every day about myself, about my YouTube channel, and just about the world around me. It's actually funny because for three years, I had been studying finance where there was lots and lots of numbers 
Um, but after some doors were closed, I decided to carry on in the degree, but into a marketing major, which was so different to everything I'd done for my whole life. I felt like a marketing major was the right way to go because it just felt like it went hand in hand with the YouTube career that I was building. If you're not aware, I actually want to be a teacher when I am a little bit older. And I felt like this aligned so well with the YouTube career I was building. It would allow me to merge both of my passions for helping people and creating content. In the future, I would love to have a day job and a side hustle that align with one another and both of them that I'm passionate about. I've realized that in this day and age that having the skill set of being able to create videos and content is very valuable one to have and is very high in demand. So one of the most important things I've learned through YouTube is to try not to overthink things so much. I can sometimes want everything to be so perfect. I worry about are people going to watch my videos and I just have to remind myself that I'm doing it for my own joy and that I'm not doing it for anyone else. I've gained so much more confidence and respect for myself through the process because I have to remind myself that if I don't do it, no one else is going to do it for me. I want to remind you that this comes from within yourself and you should try not to let the opinions of others stop you from pursuing something that you're passionate about. I've also come to realize over the years that I have an amazing support system. My family and the true friends that I've made really hype me up and give me the boost to continue creating content. Through YouTube, I've allowed myself to be a bit more vulnerable, more vulnerable than I had been in the past, and allow myself to create deeper connections with the people around me. Sometimes telling someone that you started a YouTube channel and you create silly little videos can be hard, but I've realized that I've had some really beautiful conversations with people just by telling them that I create videos. Most of all, YouTube has taught me that with consistency, with hard work, with dedication, with passion, with heart, and with drive, that anything is possible. At times, I felt that some of my goals for YouTube are too big, and I need to celebrate the small achievements as well. This could be uploading one video, uh, gaining one subscriber, getting one like. We don't need to just celebrate big goals such as being monetized, getting a thousand subscribers, or uploading a hundred videos. Those are big achievements and they'll be celebrated when you get there. Honestly, I can't wait to look back in 10 years time and find joy in the old videos that I shared and just look back at my early 20s. Watching old videos allows me to laugh, to smile, to cry at times and just admire the process of life that I'm capturing. So even if only a handful of people watch the videos, I know that I will always be able to look back at the memories that I've made over the years. So in ending out this video, if you needed a sign to start doing something that you are passionate about, and maybe this is YouTube, then I say 100% go for it. You won't know what the future holds unless you step outside of your comfort zone and go for it. I can tell you from experience that that is so true. You are more capable than you give yourself credit for. I hope that in sharing my story that you have seen that even if you do not succeed overnight and gain thousands of subscribers after your first video, that there is no reason to give up. Sometimes in falling down, you're able to learn more about yourself. So I love you all very much. I really appreciate you watching this video and I will see you in my next video.